Hey everyone, I just landed in Bangkok, Thailand at Savannah Poon Airport. I'm going to make my way to the city center. Today's date is Tuesday, February 27, 2024. The time is about 6 o'clock p.m. And this is my first time in Bangkok. I'm going to show you the entire process of getting to the city center as a first time visitor. Going through immigration, passport control, getting my luggage, getting public transportation, SIM cards, ATM, all that. They're just uh, attaching the jet bridge right now. We were delayed an hour on this flight, so I'm not really too happy about that. Vietjet is a budget airline from Vietnam. We didn't even have a proper um, jet bridge leaving from Taiwan. But regardless of that, it was a smooth flight. You can kind of compare this if you're from the U.S. as the uh, Spirit Airlines of Asia. Okay. Like it's connected now. Do we need to get my laptop bag up there? I left anything. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. I'm excited to be in Bangkok, Thailand. This is the number one tourist destination in Asia. I'll be going to the Sukhumvit area I think it's called Thai names are very hard to pronounce and don't even get me started on the writing system I looked up the foundation of it there's 44 consonants they don't even have any vowels but symbols to indicate what tone it is baggage claim oh no that's for Osaka I guess Uh, arrivals, 490 meters. You know what? Wow, automatic cleaning machine. Let me use the restroom first. The restroom was very clean. And after using the restroom, I have to tell you something that I just remembered. The tap water in Thailand is generally not safe to drink. So if you're visiting here, get bottled water or have the water filtered. But you can use it to brush your teeth, wash dishes, do laundry and shower. So it looks like the signs are in Thai, English and in Chinese which is very useful. Let's see how long it takes to get to uh, baggage claim. And speaking of baggage, 
I hope my luggage got to Bangkok. Otherwise, there's gonna be problems. I wouldn't recommend flying with Vietjet Air because they charge you pretty, pretty much for everything. And in Taiwan, we had to board a crowded bus just to get from the gate to the, uh, the airplane. However, I did save a lot of money doing so. My ticket was only about $250 US. Visa on arrival. I don't think connecting flights need to go through um, immigration at all. Oh, SIM cards. I heard this company, AIS, is the best, but they are the most pricey. Uh, let's take a look. Passport and phone, cash only, so you need cash, which I don't have. So these are the prices. Most expensive plan is 5G Unlimited for 17.99 baht, 30 days. I think it went up in price. It used to be 16.99. I saw from a Google review, and I think the currency conversion rate. Oh, they have it here. Um, I think I saw it was like 35 on the internet, but of course, since this is a local spot, um, they do need to. Um, mark it up, you know, because they got to make a profit on the exchange. But I don't see any ATMs. ATM will be great. Then I don't have to deal with foreign exchange. But I don't want to uh, lose money exchanging for uh, Thai currency at the at the kiosk I'd rather use an ATM you get the best exchange rate that way um K bank exchange and there's also another AIS counter here I think there's another um wireless provider called DTAC which is also good although not as good as AIS Yeah, I don't see any ATMs here, so I'm, I don't need a SIM card right away, it would be helpful. But I would rather withdraw from an ATM if it's available. Speaking of apps to have, they do have for hire car services here as well as for hire scooter services you just ride as a passenger on the back of a scooter and they don't use uber here you need to download an app called grab g-r-a-b that's the research i did Oftentimes these airports intentionally make the journey longer to immigration and baggage claim so that um, the airlines have more time to offload the luggage and get it to the baggage area. So done on purpose sometimes. But dealing with the airport is usually a frustrating experience anyway. From security to immigration. Finding where your flight is, making sure you catch the flight. I don't think I need to explain more. This airport, Savanapun Airport, is a really large hub here in Asia. 
It's a popular spot for connecting flights. Hundred and forty meters to arrivals. Oh, there's a station for African countries and South American countries. I guess if you're uh, from those areas, you have to do something different. Port health and quarantine. But I wonder why they put it here though, and then if you're on the moving walkway, you have to walk back. These are some of the uh, spots here in Thailand that are well known. Okay, there's a uh, station three and station one. What's the difference? Next one. I guess it doesn't really make a difference. There's two immigration areas. They're shouting, next one, next one. Oh, there's DTAC. AIS, they're all over. All these SIM cards are all over. However, I do have to uh, advise you. Generally, SIM card prices at the airport are more expensive. But since my flight arrived late, and I'm afraid if I get to a phone store this time of day in the downtown area, it's going to be closed. So I'd rather get it right here at the airport. After finding an ATM, that is. Hope this is not a problem when I get my luggage. Immigration one wait time is 17 minutes. Meanwhile, immigration three is uh, 11. All right, let's go. Immigration one. I don't know if they're gonna allow me to record here or not at immigration, but I'll resume this if they don't let me. Oh, the priority immigration lane. That's why that area... No photo. I'll get back to you. That's why that area had a shorter wait time. I'll let you know how long this takes. It's uh, 6.30 right now. Alright, I just got past immigration. And let me tell you, that was the longest immigration process I ever had to deal with. Right now it's 6.56 p.m. So it almost took a half an hour just to go through immigration, but um, it was pretty smooth. They split people up into two different lines. Um, even the Thai nationals, they didn't get their uh, priority line. So everyone had to join the same line. And then um, when I got to the immigration officer, I had to place my four um, fingers on my right hand on a glass to get them fingerprinted and then the other hand the left hand and then both thumbs and then they uh, took my picture 
and of course they examine my boarding pass and um, my passport but uh, let's see where my luggage is now this is gonna be an issue and also where I can get an ATM around here um, I don't even know oh I was gonna say I don't even know where my luggage claim is um, is Viet Jet Air from Taipei, uh, Taoyuan, Taiwan Airport. Five six seven, number twenty two. Let me just make sure as I went by really, really fast. My flight number was 567. Yep, belt number 22. So I'll have to go down there. As far as transportation goes, I put in Google Maps the, uh, the best route to get to where I need to go in the city center. And some of them actually recommend this AOT limousine. And then you transfer to the SkyTrain, the BTS SkyTrain, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. I want to go completely with public transportation, the um, airport rail link. Oh, there's an ATM. And then change to the metro. This is how you save on foreign transaction rates and markups using an ATM. Uh, hopefully there's English here. Enter your pin, then press here. Okay. Okay, let's withdraw 10,000. It seems like a good amount. And the, uh, this you should do without the currency conversion because your bank is most likely going to charge you a lower rate. So, Got a receipt and my money. Perfect. And my card is right there. I have the uh, Charles Schwab Bank card, which refunds ATM fees worldwide. Um, I did notice on the receipt that. It charged me 220 Thai baht as a withdrawal fee. So that um, is good to know. But I still think if you were to um, do the ATM transaction here, it will still be less expensive than doing it at the foreign exchange counter. Okay, now that I have money, um, let's get the SIM card from AIS. Um, I would consider getting it in the city center, like I said, but the problem is it's late now, and um, I just want convenience, and $17.99 bot does seem like a good price. Oh, eSIM's available here, okay. Since I'm a heavy data user as you know, I'm gonna get this, and I need two of them. Hello. Um, 
I need two of a 1799. Yes. Can I have your passport, please? Sir? Yes. I'm making a video. This is good for people to know okay. where they get a SIM card and everything. Okay. Okay. Alright, I just got my SIM cards, the eSIM rather, two of these, so it was about 3600 baht, only cash. He was very helpful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Kapum ka. Kapum kan. Kapum ka, which is thank you in Thai. Now we have to pick up my luggage. I would say it took about like 10 15 minutes to configure because I have I had two phones I needed to add a eSIM to. And uh, I would think my luggage is there by now cuz I took so long at immigration and uh, AIS counter. So it looks like uh, true 5G, 30 days is 11.99 baht, and 15 days is 6.99 baht. So if you want to save a little bit of money and go with true 5G, you can do that. I don't even see my flight anymore. Five, six, seven. Yeah, it arrived. Oh, 22, it's still there. Yeah, but it wasn't listed on the information counter of this baggage carousel. And I learned from the uh, SIM card person that this is the height of tourist season. That's why there's so many people at immigration. Let's hope I can find my luggage. There's a lot of luggage here and I don't want it to go missing. And with the bit airport as busy as it is, um, it's easy to mix up bags. Oh wait, that's my bag now. They put it on the side. Okay. Let me just confirm it's mine even though I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, it's mine. And I could push this now. All right. Now that I have my SIM cards, which is 
probably most important for me because I need da uh, data and cell phone service. Let's take public transit to the city center and see how that is all done. I know there's an airport rail link that brings you to uh, two metro stations. Well, there's um, a metro station it brings you to and a sky train, which is like an automated people mover. I guess this is it. We have to go through customs, nothing to declare. Doesn't say anything about no video recording, so I'm just gonna keep the film going. Oh, there's a sign there, so. Okay, very easy. I just walked through customs. Now let's see, airport rail link, basement floor. There's also public transportation, bus and taxi. Plenty of uh, foreign exchange counters, ATMs, and AIS is still here. have to go here. Man, this airport is busy. I don't say that often, but... Basement level for the airport rail link. I wonder how um, the fares are done for the rail link. If they take credit card, or I also need to pay for the ticket with cash. You gotta be really careful to hold on to your luggage here on this moving um, walkway. Airport rail link still down another level, it says. Okay. The signs pointing this way for airport rail link. Oh, they should have made it a U-turn. Good thing I caught it because the down escalator is that way. But this is the floor, first floor for public buses and taxis and um, I advise you if you're going the taxi route um, make sure to use official taxis only don't deal with any shady taxis I know that's a common scam in many um, airport airport destinations around the world
end of the walkway. Airport rail link is this way. There's the city line and the express line. I actually have no idea what the difference between the two are. As long as um, the one I want stops at the metro station where I need to transfer, it's all good. But I would, I would think the express line would stop there. That's a major stop. But I hope the express line doesn't cost more money. We'll find that out. I would think doing it this way is far cheaper than hiring a taxi or a car service. You are doing a lot of walking and you have to uh, still walk from the metro station or, or whatever your um, stop is to your hotel or accommodation, whereas a taxi is door-to-door -door service. Beware of the slope. Yeah, this looks very fast. Whoa! I think this airport rail link is a different um, public transit service than the metro so you're all gonna have to buy for pay for two tickets let's see uh, we definitely need English um, let's see so this is the airport and I need to get off at Makassan and transfer to the blue line to Sukhumvit and there's another metro area connects to you, which is Payatai and then you can take the SkyTrain up or down Okay, let's pay for this uh, Select your destination Makasan 35 baht Okay, good thing I got changed from the uh, airport SIM card place because they only take 20, 50, and 100. Because before that, I only had a thousands, thousand dollar bills from the ATM. So I'm gonna get changed from this. Got a token. Oh gosh, that's a lot of change. I don't like. To carry a lot of coins but it is what it is one token piece of plastic so let's go oh this is the city line I think um, Express is faster or should be faster Usually in the airports around the world, the food is more expensive. So if you can hold your hunger or your thirst until you get to your destination, it's generally a better idea. Um, to airport hotel. I don't see any more signs for the rail link. I think I made a wrong turn. Um, 
That sign was misleading back there because it said the express train was on this side. Fair gates are over there. That makes sense now. So don't make the same mistake I did and head straight to the right. State Railway of Thailand. Oh, it's only one stop to Makassan, the express train. You see here, red is one stop and the city line is multiple stops. But then again, how frequent is the express line? And I'm, am I still able to get an express line at this time? I may have to settle for the city line, the local, if it's not available. All right. And if you don't have um, small bills, I guess, or change, you can deal with the counter there. Customer service and tickets. I don't think they take credit card though, because if they did, the ticket machines will get them, will accept them. Also, they have a prepaid card. I may need to uh, luggage lane. I may need to look into that prepaid transit card. It might make it a lot easier to get around. To all stations to train. This is the elevator. Oh, it says lift here. So in Asia, I've experienced it that they use both British English and American English. Lift is the British English word for elevator. Wait, it says to train by elevator and then here it says lift. So they're using them both. Perfect example. Destination Pai Thai, five minutes. Oh, perfect, it's coming. Let me move out of the way, let these people get off. <clears throat> Hopefully that didn't damage any of my belongings there, that drop. Okay, so here's the platform level. Let's see what train I should take. Whether it's uh, the local or the express, whichever one gets me there sooner, I'm happy to take. Is there even a timer when the train's coming? Yeah, it looks like that screen there tells you. It doesn't seem like there's an express running from the looks of things. Three minutes, Pai Thai, platform two. Okay. And I'm holding on to this black token in case I need it later. I think I do.
So it is one, two, three, four, five stops to Makassan. safe to say um, when I get to my destination I'm just heading right up to my accommodations dropping all my stuff off getting something to eat taking a shower and getting ready for bed because it's been a long day Train is approaching. <laughs> so, for those of you wondering, 35 baht is with today's exchange rates this amount of money. A dollar eleven US, one hundred and sixty six point thirty five Japanese yen, eighty seven pence. Oh, wait, that's thirty five Taiwan dollars because I was just in Taiwan. Ninety eight cents. I'll let you read it. I'm gonna have to rearrange Thai baht to be the currency on top now, now that I'm in Thailand. Looks spacious enough to um, accommodate everyone. Security needs to inspect the train first. That's why they're whistling. Okay, city line connecting all stations, BTS. They really made that display too fast. Watch the gap. This way. Okay. Very convenient 
train. Still some seats left too, which is good. And that's a good sign because it's the height of um, tourist season. It's taking half an hour to get through immigration. travel with a lot, a lot of luggage, but I need to. Train to Piyatai. Next station, Zaprabang Station. Passengers can connect to SRT Eastern Line from this station. รถไฟฟ้าขบวนนี้ไปพิยาไทยสถานีต่อไปสถานียักษ์กระบาง Looks like we're outside now, but it's night time, so you're not going to be able to see much. There's so much glare on the windows. There's a sign, no eating or smoking on this train. For 35 baht, this seems like a great deal. One of the benefits of traveling to Thailand and expensive transportation to get to the city center. This even beats out Taiwan's um, Taoyuan Airport MRT, which is 160 NT. That was like, um, I think like five or six US dollars. This is less than a dollar US. So it's like four times less expensive. The uh, doors stay open long enough at these stops to let people exit with their, with their luggage. That sounds like a British English accent. I think they take some inspiration from the London tube, the 
London Underground. Mind the gap. Good that this train has multiple languages because it serves an international destination, the airport. I heard Thai, Mandarin Chinese, and English, and I think Vietnamese as well.
พญาไทย Next Station หัวมาก Station Passengers can connect to SRT Eastern Line from this station รถไฟฟ้าขบวนนี้ไปพญาไทยสถานีต่อไปสถานีหัวมาท่านสามารถเปลี่ยนเส้นทางไปรถไฟสายตะวันออกได้ที่สถานี Yellow line. I didn't see that on the map. It passed me up. So two more stops after this to Makasan.
ต่อไปสถานีรังรังคำแพงสเตชันคิสมานเดอะแกลบิทวีนเทรนและแพลตฟอร์มสถานีรังคำแพงโปรดใช้ความระมัดระวังขณะก้าวออกจากรถท่านผู้โดยสารโปรดทราบกรุณาเดินเข้าด้านในของขบวนรถไม่ยินกีดขอบริเวณประตูไม่ยินถือเสาโปรดจับพวงเสาหรือราวขณะเดินทางขอบคุณค่ะ Attention Please move inside the train away from door areas. Do not lean against bunches and hold strap or hand rope firmly while standing. The way is important. Okay, finally, we're here at Makasan. I still need to change to the metro though. I only need to make, take the metro one stop to a Sukhumvit. ผู้โดยสารสามารถเปลี่ยนเส้นทางไปยังรถไฟฟ้ามหานครสายสีน้ำเงินได้ที่สถานีนี้ Passenger can connect to the MRT Blue Line at this station. Attention please. Next station, train doors will open on the right. This is the downtown. There's a lot of tall buildings around here. Can't 
can't believe right now it's 8 o'clock p.m. It's been two hours since my plane landed. Actually, it's been three hours since my flight was supposed to arrive an hour before it did. If you count it that way. Okay. I think a lot of people are getting off here, as expected. Wow, it is hot and humid here. That's Bangkok for you. I think with my clumsiness, I should take the elevator. For me, no, I'll wait. Lift and elevator, both. Just know, folks, even though it's winter time, it is hot in Thailand. It's nighttime, it's 85 Fahrenheit, 29 Celsius. Hey, 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 that's not funny, elevator. Okay. Exit. And good thing we kept that token because you need it to exit here. Please present card or token. Insert into the slot. Machine ate it, we're not gonna see it anymore. Let's see. Skywalk to MRT, that's where we need to go. Need to go to the Pet Chaburi Station. security screen before it to the rail link. And 
now I see Bangkok for the first time. Busy street. It's gonna be exciting being here. There's a long walk to the metro. Train coming. draw my backpack there. Oh wow, street food. Looks good. Self-service storage, which is nice. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll wait for the next elevator. <laughs> that uh confuses me because this is a train station it should be like train mezzanine or something or metro station not retail level no durian allowed tap credit card to go excellent 
security checkpoints. Okay. Oh boy. Long walk from the airport. Okay. Thank you. Shishi. Or thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm still thinking I'm in Taiwan and I said thank you in Chinese. I have to remember I'm in Thailand. It's a big mistake. Alright, so I'm not even going to bother with this. Um, you probably calculate the number of stops you go and whatnot, but I'm just going to tap and go with my Visa card and try it. If you have a Visa card, it's even better. I trust that it's going to take the uh, correct amount of fare. Let's see. Thank you. Uh, doesn't take international credit card. Oh, here. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. I was tapping in the wrong place. I'm in such a rush and I'm so flustered and frustrated from the airport experience getting here over two hours now that I'm not even thinking correctly. It's nice of her to open the gate for me. And uh, I wonder how much the fares. Oh, wrong way. I'm not the only one uh, not paying attention here, but these escalators move fast, so you have to be quick. Um, let's see. Sukhumvit to the right. That's where I need to go. Sukhumvit. So there's a screen with a time. Very busy metro. Three minutes for the next train. There's a waiting area. It's good they have a map here. I'm here, I only need to go one stop to Sukhumvit. And I'm gonna keep my Visa credit card handy so that I tap it on the way out. While I'm waiting, I think I'll uh, put in those coins I got from the rail link vending machine into my coin purse so I don't lose anything. Don't look forward to using a lot of coins in Thailand, but it is what it is. Yeah. 
it's busy. Hopefully the doors open on the same side of the metro that I need to get off at. Okay. It's busy in here, wow. Good thing I only need to go one stop. It's the height of tourist season now. Yeah. Next station, Sukhumvit. Passengers can connect to the green line at this station. Sukhumvit. Beware of pickpockets. I don't know how common that is in Thailand, but it's a good practice to be aware of pickpockets wherever you are. Please mind the gap between train and platform. Okay. Um, I'll wait till all this clears out first. There's no way I'm gonna fight with everybody with my luggage. Hey. hey. Nice to meet you. Is there an elevator around here or a lift? So far, I have a good um, feeling about Thailand. That person just shook, shook my hand. Her people are really friendly here. Where is my card? It's somewhere in my pocket, but I just have so much stuff in here that it's hard to find.
I found it, but I had to take everything out of my pocket. It's stuff full of stuff from um, the air airport because I can't put everything in my carry-on. All right, tap to pay, and I know exactly where to tap it now. Not. <laughs> um. No wider ones? I guess not. Hey. I'm tapping my card. Well, maybe I tap it now because I got too quickly. Yeah, I, I went through too much, so it's thought I didn't pay, but you have to not get so close to the fare gate for it to register your card. And I wonder how much it charged me. I'm very curious how much that ride costs. Probably not a lot because there's only one stop. And I think definitely a lot less than the uh, the rail link, which was 35 baht. All right. Finally, I'm here. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. There was a very, very long journey from the airport. Landed at 6 p.m. Now it's around 8.30. Two and a half hours to get here. But I appreciate all of you watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye everyone, take care.